Hello everyone, I'm Gary York, True Prison Stories, and thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe. Today I want to talk about, are you cut out to work in the control room? Is the control room one of your favorite places to work or not? And what is your favorite place to work? I know we all have our choices and opinions, and we all have a talent that we are better at in some areas than others. So before we talk about that for about five minutes, I want to uh, announce uh, a good friend of mine and ask you to subscribe to him. He's called Real Police Talk, and I'm going to put his link at the bottom of this video to make it so easy to scroll down, click on his uh, YouTube link, and subscribe. He tells true police stories, and he also knows a lot about corrections, and I guarantee you'll love his stories. He has some really neat stories from his career as a policeman. Real Police Talk. And uh, he sent me a nice Christmas gift, and I'm just happy, so proud of it. I'm, I'm going to put it in my man cave. He sent me a 2002 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Look at that thing. I don't know if I should take it out of the box. It, it says it's some type of a collector's item, so I don't know if I should open the box or not. It even has a serial number, so uh, I'm going to give that a shot and just leave it in the box and put it on the shelf in my man cave. So, please subscribe to Real Police Talk. The link will be at the bottom of this video. Okay, folks, uh, let's get back to working the control room in a prison or working the control room in a jail. Is that one of your favorite spots to work? Now, back in 1991, uh, before I left as a correction officer to probation and parole, I worked in the control room in a state prison. I never was a big fan of it. I never had a problem. I got through it and I worked it. I just was the type of guy that liked to be out on the compound inside security or something or working in a dorm with the inmates. You know, feeding the inmates never bothered me. And I was just more comfortable out there. You know, the control room takes a very uh, patient person. If you've ever worked in a control room, you know. And that was back in 91, and that was kind of old school. You know, we had the red button, the green button, the, the sector one of the fence, sector two, and the, the handles you pull down and the doors open. So that was old school. And then when I left the uh, state of Florida, I went to the uh, jail in 2006. And when I was put in the control room there, I was like, oh, my goodness, all the up-to-date things that were just touch tone now. You know, no buttons anymore. Everything was touch tone. And... A lot of responsibility. Hello, phones ringing, buttons going, people calling. Very hectic. So it's a tough place to work in the control room, and I and I was uh, luckily made it through in the state prison in the control room and in the jail with the new technology. I survived uh, two different jails, uh, one in Pasco County and one in uh, Polk County, with the up-to-date control rooms. And uh, it's very hectic. And you need to be on the ball, and you need to be able to count. You need to be able to take in all the counts. You need to be able to type. You need to be able to answer phones. You need to be able to log movements. And when it's count time, you know, we all know how it works if you work in a control room. Your count at the master control has to match up with all the numbers that are called in. So a lot of responsibility in the control room. So... You know, some people just love it. They love the challenge. They love the control room. I've had officers say, man, I'd work the control room every day. So what are your thoughts on that? If you have certain people that are great in the control room and everything runs smooth and the counts go well and there's doors are opening and things are moving simultaneously like they should, uh, do you think supervisors should allow them to work more often in the control room or do you like the idea that everybody has to have their turn in the control room because cross training is very important and if an emergency arises and I haven't worked in the control room for the past year and I get thrown in there during an emergency now I'm in trouble so I mean it's a two-way street um Everybody needs to know every position in the prison. Uh, you don't uh, always have to put people in the control room that don't like it, but I think you have to have some time in the control room so if an emergency arises, you know what to do. But you don't have to be placed there uh, 
often. So what are your thoughts on that? And what positions do you like to work best in the prison? What's your favorite position? Even though we, re we have to remember, we all must be ready to work any position. Have you ever heard an officer say, man, come on, I don't want to work over there, Sarge. That position, I, I, I'm not... Well, they need to go over there and work it then. That's kind of a signal to the sergeant. I've got to have that person go over there and work this post a few times because they don't like it. That means they're not going to know it. They're not going to want to learn it. So we need to get them to learn it. So there's pros and cons with each. Uh, who loves the control room? Who doesn't? Let us know. I made this a quick one. And what is your favorite post to work in the prison or the jail? Thank you. Corruption behind bars. True prison stories. Gary York. And don't forget, real police talk. Do me a favor and subscribe. Thank you.